Alright guys, I've got some badass nails that are perfect for Halloween, but also perfect for the rest of the year. First, let's look at some nail porn of this new red shimmery glass fleck amazingly beautiful polish that I got from my favorite nail shop linked down below. Made by Picture Polish, this is Arabian. Never forget who you truly are. I don't know, I kind of think this nail polish should just be called Canadian then. This polish was made in collaboration with my fellow blogger Dido Lean. Dido Lean is a highly talented French blogger and you should go check her out because I love her. I don't even know how you would describe this magical rich red color. It's like they stole Scarlett Johansson's signature red lipstick and mixed it with a bunch of tiny pieces of glass. Look at that, it's pretty much opaque in one coat. Holy shit, praise the lord. But it is a little bit see-through so I'm gonna add a second coat just to be safe. And because this polish is like a dream when I put it on. Mmm, glide so smooth, oh yeah, so shiny, I love it. Oh yeah, look at that gloss, it's so elegant and sophisticated and nothing like me I guess. So we're gonna break that up with some badass black shape things. So first we're gonna take a tiny tiny detail brush and we're gonna dip it in our black polish and we're gonna freehand those little shapes on our nails. <laughs> what are you fucking kidding me? I can't paint that. We're gonna use nail vinyls, of course. Yes, I got these houndstooth pattern nail vinyls from Twinkle T, my number one favorite nail tool store. I'm adding a quick dry top coat because we're gonna add nail vinyls next. Yeah, lots of you have pointed out how I say that a lot. Yep, that's pretty much in my permanent vocabulary. Sometimes when you peel the vinyls off, the little pieces get stuck on the inside, so just put it down on another piece of paper to peel- Oh, it's not working, is it? No? Okay, let's try that again on the other side. Just press it down and peel it back, and yeah, I'm still not much help to you today, am I? Okay, there we go, we did it, we got all the little pieces out. Alright, so put that down on your nail, press it down firmly, because we're gonna paint over top of it. <gasps> With this black hollow glitter, oh my god, look at that reverse action, oh my god, if you've ever had a nail polish orgasm, this is it. Oh, oh, oh my god, drip everywhere all over me. This is probably one of my top favorite hollows of all time. You can find it in a list of all my favorite hollows. I put a link in the video description box. It's Menchie's favorite polish website. Its name is Neutrino and as the day of making this video it's sold out. Oh my god why do I do this to you guys? I tease you and then leave you. Well it'll be back in stock eventually I'm sure so you can get your satisfaction on soon. Peel up the vinyl carefully. I like to lift each edge so it comes off a little easier and doesn't put the black stuff everywhere. Oh shit, shit. Oh, that was so close, guys. It's because I'm wearing a peel-off base, so that's why it gently lifted. It has nothing to do with the vinyl and everything to do with I'm a risk taker and like to wear a peel-off base coat. Put more Neutrino on because it's so satisfying to watch. Yeah, look at those multicolor rainbow hollow glitters popping through a black hole of wonder. Alright, let's hope we have better luck peeling this one off. Oh shit, I think I'm in trouble. Ah, oh, fuck, you're kidding me, right? Now I don't even have, like, an edge to pull it off with. Oh my god, how am I gonna get out of this? I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. I hate this part. So much effort for one manicure. Oh my, oh my god, it hurts! Holy shit, did that just happen? Did I just save that? Okay, I'm officially the new Dr. Derek Shepard because that was some brain surgery like I've never seen before. I'm just gonna consider myself lucky in this episode where I didn't die. Okay, so that's a hound's tooth pattern, but now we're gonna make it a cat's tooth pattern. Because why? Cats are more fun than hounds. I got this idea from Tammy, aka Oh My Gosh Polish. You may know her from Instagram or YouTube. I put a link to her original video on cat's tooth on the screen and down below. So by putting little white dots, it kind of makes it look like each little shape is the shape of a cat. So the cats have eyes and they have little ears on top of them. How cute is that, right? It doesn't really make it a cat's tooth at all because what used to be a tooth is now the entire cat. So abstract, cat's, hound's tooth, whatever you wanna call it, it looks cute to me. Before I add the cat eyes on my accent nail, I'm just gonna add a quick dry top coat first cause I'm gonna put on another nail vinyl. Skull nail vinyls equals poison. 
Oh look, this one's being a bitch and it doesn't want to come off nicely either. While I struggle, I'll just remind you guys that you can get all the nail vinyls you want from TwinkleTea.com and use my code SIMPLY for 10% off. I can't promise you that you'll have a smooth, problem-free experience, but hey, we'll just struggle together then. I'm using my favorite one coater white nail polish, the link is below, along with a video on what's the best white polish to fill in the skull head. So it's really important to use a good white when you're putting white over top of a designer vinyl like this because you don't want it to look milky, no. It's got to be real white bones. Oh yeah, look at that removal. That was safe and sound. Phew! Alright, now I'm making the hounds that are still showing look like cats. Something's missing. I think these cats need a mouth. Yeah, so let's put some of this red shimmer shit on their mouths. Now they're kind of looking like evil bats or little monsters that are possessed with rabies and are drooling blood. Eh, well, whatever. This is a Halloween manicure. I'm pretty sure that skulls at least have eye sockets, if not eyeballs, so I'm gonna make one with a really oversized dotting tool. Yes, your eyes are bloody because I made them so. I think he's also missing, like, little dots in his eyes, so let's just use the black hollow glitter to make those dots. You're welcome, Skull, because now you got eyes of a rainbow. Alright, um, I think he skulls also have mouths. So let me try and freehand this. Oh my god, this might be my worst regret ever, but let's pray. Everyone pray for me. Oh, can you draw a tiny line, Christine? Can you do it without messing up everything? Holy shit, I'm shaking. Okay, 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 stop. We're good. Woo! Finally, add a glossy top coat over everything because you want the sparkle to remain sparkly. Do make sure you let the whole mani dry for about 15 minutes before you apply a top coat or else you're going to bleed all those little eyeballs everywhere. And bam, you one hell of a badass according to your nails. Kind of looks like a logo of a nail gang or something. You know, like the bloods and the chips maybe. Or the bloods. The chips are losers. Now red's not usually my kind of color, but damn girl, I feel good in this. I do have one super Halloweeny nail art coming up for you, so not to worry, it'll be way more extreme than this one. Stay tuned until then, see you next time, bye.